Good morning to you children. Today in our grammar class, we shall learn about pronouns, reflexive, interrogative and relative. Children, now look at these sentences. The first sentence, I enjoyed myself. Second, we enjoyed ourselves. And the third sentence, she enjoyed herself. In the first sentence, the word myself refers to the subject I in the sentence. I and myself mean one and the same person. In the second sentence, the word ourselves refers to the subject we in the sentence. We and ourselves refer to the same. In the, in the third sentence, the word herself refers to the subject she in the sentence. The word she and herself mean the same person. In each of these above sentences, the doer of the action is also the receiver of the action. The pronouns that have been used as the receiver of the action, myself, ourselves and herself are called reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are formed by adding the suffix self or selves to some of the personal pronouns. In the singular, we write reflexive pronouns as myself, yourself, herself, himself and itself. In the plural form, reflexive pronouns are written as ourselves, yourselves and themselves. We use a reflexive pronoun as a direct object when the object is same as the subject of the verb. Now look at the first sentence. Henry bought himself a new cricket bat. In this sentence, the subject is Henry and the object is himself. The word himself is a pronoun and it is the object of the sentence. But who is himself in the sentence? The pronoun himself is Henry. Now since the pronoun himself reflects back to the subject, it is therefore a reflexive pronoun of the sentence. Now see the second sentence. I made myself a new pencil case. Here the subject is I and the object is myself. The pronoun myself reflects back to the subject, that is, it is the same as the subject. Hence, the word myself is a reflexive pronoun. The third sentence, we are teaching ourselves how to cook. Here the subject is we and the object is ourselves. The pronoun ourselves is the same as the subject we. It is a reflexive pronoun. The last sentence. Be careful with the matches, you will burn yourself. Here also, the pronoun yourself refers to the subject you in the sentence. Hence, it is a reflexive pronoun. Children, kindly remember that we don't use reflexive pronouns when the subject and object are different persons. For a reflexive pronoun, the subject and the object has to be the same person. We also use a reflexive pronoun with the preposition by when we want to show that somebody was on their own and they did something entirely on their own. For example, look at this sentence. I finished the crossword by myself. Here, the preposition by and the pronoun myself 
and is written together to show that somebody did the work on their own the second sentence my grandfather lives by himself but we visit him every weekend so we have the preposition by with the reflexive pronoun himself so at times we can see reflexive pronoun appearing along with the preposition by in the sentence children kindly open your workbooks to page number 41 we will solve exercise a complete the sentences with the appropriate pronouns object pronouns possessive pronouns or reflexive pronouns in the previous class you learned about object pronouns and possessive pronouns let's now start with the exercise the first sentence my brother bought a little car so my father is teaching dash to drive here we will write the pronoun him the second sentence listen carefully children please behave dash while you are at the theater here you will write yourselves the third sentence be careful with that boiling water you will hurt dash you will write yourself the fourth one everyone helped dash to the cakes and sandwiches answer themselves i finished my maths homework by dash answer myself look my cat is looking at dash in the mirror answer itself the seventh sentence when my mom is really busy she talks to dash answer herself the eighth sentence the english test was really difficult but no one helped dash i did it by dash answer no one helped us i did it by myself the ninth one my cousin sara gave dash a really nice birthday present so i'm going to send dash a text to say thank you in the first blank you will write me and in the second you will write her the tenth sentence my aunt and uncle live on a farm they never go to a supermarket they grow everything dash answer themselves the 11th sentence my mom and dad are going out tonight so my sister and i are going to cook for dash answer ourselves the 12th sentence i enjoyed dash at the football match answer myself the 13th one my sister fell down the stairs and sprained dash ankle answer her the 14th sentence my pen pal from australia told me all about dash in her first letter answer herself now we move ahead and learn about pronouns interrogative look at the sentences written below the first sentence what do you want the second who is knocking at the door the third whom did you meet and the last one which is your umbrella in each of these sentences the words what who whom and which have been used as pronouns since these pronouns have been used to ask questions they are called interrogative pronouns 
Interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions. Words such as who, what, which, whom and whose are all examples of interrogative pronouns. We use who and whom when we are talking about people. Who is used as the subject position. For example, in this sentence, who won the competition? Here, the interrogative pronoun who is used as the subject. Whom is used as the object position and it is used after the preposition. For example, in this sentence, to whom did you complain? Here the interrogative pronoun whom comes after the preposition to. But here whom does not take the place of the subject. In this sentence, the subject is you. We use what and which when we are talking about things. The interrogative pronoun what is used when asking general questions. For example, what food do you like? The interrogative pronoun which is used when we have to choose from a number of specific things. For example, which book did you borrow from the library? Now children, kindly open your workbooks to page number 43. We will solve the exercises. Exercise A. Complete the dialogue given below with the correct interrogative pronoun. Let's get ready for the parents' afternoon. Who's going to make the tea? I don't know. Who made it last time? Let's display the paintings over here. Whose painting is this? It's really good. I like the bright colors. Which stories will we show to the parents? Who's going to help Henry with the display boards? Which teachers are going to be here? I'm not sure. Which tables will we use for the tea and biscuits? Use the round tables so that parents can chat to one another. What kind of sandwiches and snacks shall we make? Whom did you speak to about the reports? I spoke to Miss Brown. She's going to give them to the parents while she talks to them. Okay, so children, we have solved exercise A. Now let's move to exercise B. Observe the given objects and answer the questions. In your workbook itself, you have certain objects displayed and each of these objects are tagged with a name. So we have to answer these questions and take the help of the picture that is given beside these sentences. One example is already solved and given to you. Whose book is it? Answer, it's Tom's. The first one, whose shoes are these? They are Nick's. Whose cricket bat is it? It's David's. Whose mobile is it? It's Peter's. Whose t-shirt is this? It's Alex's. Whose rucksack is it? It's Catty's. 
Whose flowers are these? They are Jenny's. Whose are those CDs? They are Linda's. Whose shorts are these? They are Anna's. So children, with this we have solved the exercise A and B of pronouns interrogative. We now move ahead and learn about pronouns relative. Look at the sentences given below. The first sentence, the driver who ran the stop sign was careless. The second, this is the dog that was hit by a car. And the third sentence, this painting which I wore is worth over a million dollars. In the first sentence, the word who relates to the driver. In the second sentence, the word that relates to the dog. In the third sentence, the word which relates to the painting. In all these above sentences, the words who, that and which are relative pronouns. And they do the work of a conjunction. That means they help in joining the sentence. A relative pronoun refers to a noun or a pronoun that has already been mentioned. That's why it relates back. We will learn the use of the relative pronoun who, that and which. The relative pronoun who is used for people, which is used for things and that is used for things as well as people. Now children, kindly open your workbook page to page number 44. We will solve exercise A. Complete the following sentences with that, which or who. These are relative pronouns. So we have got to use that, which or who in order to complete these sentences. One example is already solved and given to us. Here is the book that I read last week. The underlined word that is a relative pronoun. Let's solve the first sentence. There's a monkey in the zoo. Dash eats 10 bananas every day. Answer that. Second, the people dash live next door to us are from Chennai. Answer who? The third sentence, I've got a friend dash writes and draws with her left hand. Answer who? The fourth one. A person dash flies a plane is called a pilot. Answer. Who? The fifth one. A panda is an animal dash eats bamboo and lives in China. Answer. That. The sixth one. The scarf dash you gave me for my birthday is beautiful. Answer that. The seventh one. The river dash flows through London is the Thames. Answer that. The eighth one. My cousin dash lives in Australia is going to visit us this summer. Answer who? The ninth one. I like the red sari dash you were wearing yesterday. Answer. Which? The tenth one. 
some pupils dash worked hard won prizes at the end of the year answer who so children with this we finished solving the exercises of the lessons pronouns reflexive pronouns interrogative and pronouns relative this was all for now thank you and take care